we've prepared our transposed nuclei suspension, which is sitting on ice. Next, we'll prepare the barcoding master mix and assemble the chip. First, we have our barcoding reagent B. We equilibrate to room temperature, vortex, verify that there is no precipitate, briefly spin down, and leave at room temperature. Next, we have our reducing agent B. We equilibrate to room temperature, vortex, verify that there is no precipitate, briefly spin down, and leave at room temperature. Finally, we have our barcoding enzyme, which is stored on ice. We add the reagents in the order listed in the user guide. First, we add the barcoding reagent B, then reducing agent B, and finally barcoding enzyme. Pipette mix 10 times and briefly spin down, then place on ice. We are now ready to assemble the chip. Ensure the secondary holder is closed before attaching the gasket. The gasket attaches in only one orientation, with the notch on the upper left-hand corner. Attach the gasket by holding the tongue and hook the gasket on the left-hand tabs of the holder. Gently pull the gasket toward the right and hook it on the two right-hand tabs. Do not touch the smooth side of the gasket. Do not press down on top of the gasket after attachment. Open the Chromium NextGem secondary holder with the gasket attached. Please ensure that you are using the Chromium NextGem secondary holder. Remove the chip from the sealed bag. After removing the chip from the sealed bag, use the chip within 24 hours. We will hold the chip by the edges, making sure not to touch the bottom of the chip. Align the notch on the chip in the upper left corner and the holder. Slide the chip to the left until the chip is inserted under the guide on the holder. Depress the right-hand side of the chip until the spring-loaded clip engages. We are ready to load reagents into the wells. If you are loading less than eight samples into the chip, load 50% glycerol into the unused wells. Today, since we are running four samples, we will load 50% glycerol into the remaining channels. We will add 70 microliters of 50% glycerol to unused wells in row labeled one. When you pipette into the chip, gently touch the pipette tips on the bottom surface and slowly pull up the pipetter as you are dispensing. Next, we will add 50 microliters of 50% glycerol to unused wells in the row labeled 2. Finally, we will add 40 microliters of 50% glycerol to the unused wells in the row labeled 3. Do not add 50% glycerol solution to the bottom row that is labeled no fill. Do not use any substitute for the 50% glycerol solution. We have loaded the 50% glycerol into the unused channels of the chip. Next, we will add our reagents and our transposed nuclei suspension.